Imagine a world where the Protestant Reformation led to greater religious tolerance in Europe. Could centuries of religious conflicts and wars have been averted? The Protestant Reformation, a seismic event in the 16th century, dramatically reconfigured the religious landscape of Europe. This was a time when Martin Luther, a German monk, challenged the authority of the Roman Catholic Church, igniting a widespread movement that splintered the religious unity of the continent. Historically the Reformation did not lead to immediate religious tolerance. Instead it sparked a series of religious wars and conflicts, as Catholic and Protestant powers vied for dominance. The division of the Church into Protestant and Catholic factions led to a power struggle, tearing nations apart and setting the stage for centuries of strife. But what if it had been different? What if the Reformation, instead of fanning the flames of conflict, had inspired a wave of religious tolerance? This is the realm of alternate history, a fascinating domain where we can explore what-ifs and reimagine the course of events. In this scenario, the Reformation could have fostered a climate of acceptance, where differing religious beliefs were respected rather than contested. The Catholic Church, instead of resisting the new Protestant movement, could have embraced it as an opportunity for dialogue and mutual understanding. Such an alternate course of history might have changed the face of Europe. It could have averted the devastating religious wars that plagued the continent, saved countless lives, and possibly even altered the trajectory of global politics. This is not to undermine or simplify the complexities of the Reformation, or the societal and political factors that intertwined with it, but it is an intriguing thought experiment, a chance to explore how different choices and reactions could have reshaped history. As we delve deeper into this hypothetical scenario, we'll examine key events and their potential alternate outcomes. Stay tuned as we journey through a reimagined past where religious tolerance might have changed the course of Europe's history. The Protestant Reformation, a major 16th century European movement, aimed initially to reform the beliefs and practices of the Roman Catholic Church. This upheaval of religious norms began with a man named Martin Luther, an Augustinian monk and professor of theology. Luther had a bone to pick with the church, particularly its practice of selling indulgences, which he saw as a gross manipulation of faith for monetary gain. One day in the year 1517, Luther nailed a document to the door of the castle church in Wittenberg, Germany. This document, known as the 95 Theses, was a call to action, a challenge to the church to debate and discuss its practices. This was not a rebellious act against the church but rather, a plea for reformation from within. Luther's theses spread like wildfire thanks to the recent invention of the printing press. Suddenly, the common people who for centuries had been kept in the dark, were able to read and understand the criticisms against the church. This was a pivotal moment, a catalyst that sparked a movement that would forever change the landscape of Europe. In the immediate aftermath of Luther's audacious act, the church was incensed. They branded Luther a heretic, excommunicated him and even attempted to have him arrested. But the damage had been done. The seed of doubt had been sown among the people. This led to a wave of religious revolutions across Europe, giving birth to various Protestant sects, each with their own interpretation of Christianity. However, this religious diversification did not lead to tolerance. Quite the contrary, it led to centuries of religious conflicts and wars. The Reformation, which started as a call for reform and unity, ended up fragmenting the church and dividing Europe along religious lines. Would the course of history have shifted if these events had sparked greater religious tolerance? If the church had listened to Luther's criticisms, if the various Protestant sects had coexisted peacefully, perhaps Europe would have been spared from centuries of religious wars. But alas, that was not the case. The Protestant Reformation was a catalyst for religious, political and cultural transformations that rippled across Europe. Imagine a stone dropped in a still pond. The initial splash is significant, but the ripples it creates are far-reaching and transformative. The Protestant Reformation was such a stone, and its effects spread far and wide across the European continent. Beginning in the early 16th century with Martin Luther's 95 Theses, a call for reform within the Catholic Church Protestantism was born. The movement quickly gained traction, its teachings spreading like wildfire in the hearts of many. The new faith emphasized a personal relationship with God, the importance of reading scripture, and the rejection of many Catholic practices deemed as corrupt. However, the establishment of a new faith did not come without resistance. Europe was plunged into a series of religious wars and conflicts as the old and the new clashed in bloody battles for supremacy. 
One of the most significant of these was the Thirty Years' War, a gruesome conflict that ravaged Europe from 1618 to 1648. The war was a battle of religious and political ideologies with Catholic and Protestant states fighting not just for their faith, but also for power and control. It was a war that brought about immense suffering, with countless lives lost and entire cities laid to waste. Yet, the war also brought about change. It led to the Peace of Westphalia, which among other things recognized the sovereignty of states and allowed rulers to choose their state's religion. In essence, it was a step towards religious tolerance. But what if the Protestant Reformation had led to greater religious tolerance from the onset, averting these centuries of religious conflicts and wars? What if Europe had embraced diversity of belief without the need for bloodshed? How different would the landscape of Europe look today? How would history have unfolded? Had these wars been averted, how would Europe look today? In our alternate timeline, the Protestant Reformation leads to a surge in religious tolerance, fundamentally altering the course of European history. Imagine a Europe where religious differences aren't a cause for conflict but a catalyst for conversation and understanding. Instead of sparking centuries of wars and persecution, the Protestant Reformation paves the way for an era of unprecedented peace and progress. This shift in mindset could have had profound implications on the trajectory of our world history. Firstly, consider the religious wars that ravaged Europe in the 16th and 17th centuries. In our alternate timeline these wars are averted. The Thirty Years' War, the French Wars of Religion, the English Civil War, none of these take place. Europe remains largely at peace, allowing societies to focus on development and progress, rather than on strife and destruction. Moreover, this atmosphere of religious tolerance could have fostered an explosion of scientific and cultural advancements. Think of the Renaissance but on a grander, more inclusive scale. Instead of condemning Galileo for his radical ideas about the universe, the church might have embraced and promoted his work. Art and literature too could have flourished, free from the confines of religious orthodoxy. Lastly, let's turn our attention to the wider world. Europe's colonial ventures were often fueled by a desire to convert heathen nations to Christianity, but in a Europe where religious plurality is the norm, the impetus for such aggressive colonization diminishes. This could have led to drastically different relationships between Europe and the peoples they colonized, perhaps even preventing some of the atrocities committed in the name of conversion. Of course this is all conjecture. History is a complex tapestry of interwoven events, and changing one thread can unravel the whole thing. But it's fascinating to consider just how different our world might have been if religious tolerance had been the norm in post-Reformation Europe. Our exploration of this alternate timeline brings us to some intriguing possibilities. In the course of this exploration, we've delved into the origins of the Protestant Reformation and its potential for fostering greater religious tolerance. We've journeyed through the tumultuous era that marked a seismic shift in religious dynamics and pondered over the potential outcomes if the Reformation had been a catalyst for greater religious acceptance. We began by examining the impact of the Protestant Reformation a revolutionary movement that challenged the Catholic Church's authority and reshaped Europe's religious landscape. It was a time of change and upheaval, a period that saw the birth of Protestantism and the fracturing of the Catholic Church. This was not just a shift in religious doctrine but a cultural and social transformation that forever changed the course of history. Then we delved into the catalysts of this change, the flashpoints that sparked a revolution and the key figures who dared to challenge centuries-old beliefs. We explored how Martin Luther's 95 Theses ignited a firestorm of religious debate and led to a schism that would divide Europe. In our exploration of the ripple effects of the Reformation, we considered the profound implications this period had on Europe and the world. We pondered over the countless wars and conflicts fueled by religious intolerance and the societal divisions that persist to this day. We then journeyed into a speculative alternate timeline, a world where the Reformation led to greater religious tolerance. Imagine a Europe where religious wars were averted, where diversity of belief was celebrated rather than persecuted. Such a world could have been a beacon of harmony, a testament to the power of acceptance and understanding. While we can only speculate on the what-ifs of history, it's an interesting exercise that gives us a fresh perspective on the interconnectedness of historical events and their impact on our present day. In the end, our exploration serves as a reminder of the profound influence of the past on our present and the potential for the future.